Previously on Cinema Therapy. As a relationship expert, these films hurt me deeply, and I want to hurt them as bad as they hurt me. Bella does not have a self. Yeah, so Edward is her world. You're never gonna be able to fix me, so we can never be together, but I need to have you around for my feels. Oh! <laughs> How many of these did you include? <laughs> not all of them. And now, the conclusion. Until we get to Eclipse, Breaking Down Part 1, Breaking Down Part 2, and please, oh please, let the producers make a filmed adaptation of Midnight Sun, the tale of Twilight told from Edward's perspective, which is worse, somehow, oh, so, so much worse than Twilight Part 1. Enjoy. You've been lying to everyone. Charlie. But you can't lie to me. <laughs> you know, everyone. Not Charlie. Me. Others. <laughs> Other people. <laughs> That's my favorite. They should have played that for comedy. Look, Bella. We can't be friends anymore. Look, Jake, I know that I've been hurting you. Yep. It's, yeah. it's killing me. It kills me. Then why do you keep doing I just it? Need, maybe give me like some time or something. Don't. Right? It's not you. Now, here's what I don't get. She clings to him like a life preserver. But all of these friends she made last year, including the, the heterosexual female friends who would be completely platonic with her, yeah. she doesn't, she just like completely distances herself from them. And then she, she latches onto him even though she knows that it hurts him because he wants to be with her. Mm -hmm. and she says, it's killing me that I'm hurting you. Well, why are you. Why are you hurting him? Well, because I need somebody. Hello, you have a whole posse. You've got the whole entourage plus mustache dad. And you've got a mom that you can call while holding your phone, like, in weird angles. Like, you've got a whole group of people that you can lean on. But, you know, he looks like this. So here we go. But we'll use people because, well, I got rejected. So I need to feel better about myself. So I'm going to see if somebody else finds me attractive or wants me, then I can feel good about me. And she's right when she says it's totally selfish. And so I, I had, you know, the person I despise most in the first story was Edward. Mm -hmm. I'm not feeling it for Bella in New yeah. Moon. No, she is a garbage person in this movie. <laughs> I'll say it. That's an insult to people who collect garbage. She is <laughs> It's <a> true. <laughs> I, not like she's a garbage collector. Like, she is a person made of garbage. <laughs> we just wanted it for our... Uh... Yeah, no. All of our garbage collector fans out there, we love and respect you. Thank you for your service. Yeah. <laughs> They're back there going, we're like, no offense. It's like, none taken. None taken, man. She <laughs> is garbage. I promised I wouldn't hurt you, Bella. And this is me keeping that promise. Go home. And don't come back. Or you're going to get hurt. Oh, okay. Well, we're, there's a pattern here, Bella. <laughs> what happened to Stephanie Meyer? <laughs> Why does she think that this is how you do and, things and, the, and these are the men look if look <laughs> at least once per twilight sh shot i have to breathe look <laughs> if you're with somebody who tells you leave me alone i'm bad for you i will hurt you for heaven's sake listen to them immediately leave yes there are other abs to caress you know, lots of people have them. There are other Everyone, glutes in fact. to grab. You need to stay away from these types of people. Let's keep going. Alice, I'm all right until I'm alone. So I'm not all right at all. And lately, that's all the time. <laughs> Jacob's gone. He's hunting Victoria. So and Charlie's hunting Jacob. And you're gone. And I'm hunting a ghost. And so is Edward. Edward. Edward's hunting for... Meanwhile, I have friends who are carrying on with a nothing. very active social life that I could be a part of. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm choosing to sulk. Where is Clarence when you need him? Don't. Don't do this. Oh, there he is. You won't stay with me any other way. So he's not reaching out across time and she's not actually talking uh, to him. I don't space. think so. Or not time and space, space reaching out across yeah. space. Why 
mean, that's a pretty cool shot. I'll give it to him. Yeah, no, that one's not bad. So, does she not know how to swim? Or the, oh no, she does. The current, she, you could fool, you could have fooled me. What was this? It was very bad acting, is what it was. So she just bonked her head. Well, she got tumbled by a wave, <laughs> and now Wait. an emo song is playing, and she can see her ghost boyfriend. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so she jumps off the cliff because she wants Edward to come save her. Because she, she because she, she wants to see him again. She jumps off the cliff not because she thinks he's going to show up in the flesh. She just wants to see whatever this vision is that every time she's like super suicidal and going to do something where she could die. He's there to say, don't do he's it. He's there to, to boss her around. Because I always took it as um, he's reaching out across space to, to warn her. And if she puts herself in enough danger, he'll you know get to her as quickly as possible. Like that's how no, I took it. This is not a power that he has. No. Okay. No. So she's like, I'm probably going to die, but I want to see him again. Uh-huh. Okay. This nope. is how damaged and broken and desperate and pathetic Bella is. Well, again, if she would, you know, engage in her classes, because we never see her go to her classes. We see her sulk in the parking lot in the cafeteria. She'd go to her classes, apply herself in school, have a social life with her friends, work on her relationship with her dad. She would actually feel fulfilled in life. She would still miss, miss Edward. It would still hurt. But there wouldn't be this nothingness without him. She would have a life and she would heal and she could move on. Yeah. But instead she's refusing to do that. Like she's stubbornly refusing to move on despite all the people who care about her. And no es bueno. Está muy malo. <laughs> Let's go. I don't have anything to add. <laughs> That's not how you do CPR. Oh, no. You don't bend the elbows. <laughs> but oh, it worked. Can you hear me? How much do you bench? That's what should you <laughs> <laughs> Breeze over here. God. Ah, uh, the old, I saved you from death by freezing water, and now you're cold, so you can use my body nice to warm you up trick. It's a wolf. It's a classic. Used it a dozen times. It's not. Well, and, and beyond that, I'm going to use you again, <laughs> and compliment you again, and explain to you again why you're better for me, and then... Nothing. You saw what happened to Emily. Emily but that's the thing with Bella, is she flirts with him. Like, it would be okay to be and friends with him if she weren't leading him back. on. And she tries to, like, warn him a couple times, but then she's she, constantly, immediately right after that, leading him on. Yeah. Again, we'll say it again. If it's a guilty pr pleasure and you know it's By garbage, all means. And you just Enjoy. Oh, yeah. But, it's the guiltiest pleasure. But don't model your relationships after this. Especially you are. See, and here, he's just told her. I can't be with you. And she's like, no, I'll keep you safe. I'll tell you every day. So he's going to go 90. Is she going to go 10? Again. It is the most mixed signals ever. Like, what is happening here? Thank you. For everything. Bella, just back, back it on up. I, I don't buy into any of the crap of... Well, she was asking for it because of the signal she gave me. Like, it is never okay to take advantage of nope. physically another human being. Like, I'm not saying that. What I am saying is if you're not interested in a person, don't do this garbage. Okay, not that you need me. Like, what the hell is this? It's not hard to not be directly in front of a person telling them, literally, I'll always be here with you and I'll keep you safe from yourself. What other signal could you possibly be sending? Mm -hmm. Yep. And then and then he leans in to kiss her, and she's like, she pulled oh, back. And man. poor Jacob is like, did I? How? I couldn't have misread that. There's literally you put no your face right here. There's no other way to read what you just did. <laughs> it was in neon. It was blinking, and it said, "Kiss me, stupid." But yeah, it's ugh, ugh, ugh. <laughs> You got the ugh, the gulch, and the blech. See, and here, Jacob... You don't have to do this. ...is taking the Bella role, and Bella is taking the Edward role from yeah. the first film of he's a complete doormat, and he's blaming yes, himself do. for her terrible actions. And she's trying to per to not hurt him by hurting him. Yep. Yeah, no, it's a total... What do you say? I think it's something in, like, his native... Oh. It's doesn't make any sense. It's never translated. 
I wish they would at least really commit to a real kiss. Like the filmmakers would really commit to it. Swan okay, happens. so what, what happens here is Edward calls. Uh -huh. He and Jacob says, or, or, or and asks for Charlie. Does he ask for Charlie? He asks for Charlie. Um, and Jacob says him. that Charlie's preparing for a funeral, which he is. There's somebody else who died. But of course, Edward's going to take that as Bella's dead. Yep. So here's Jacob, who is deliberately, hey, Bella, here's your boyfriend that you want to be with. He's calling, and I'm going to not let this happen because controlling. Yeah. And because I, I don't want you to get hurt, but it's really I don't want him anywhere near you because I want you to be in love with me. Yep. And so he, once again, like the men in Bella's life are all about taking the decisions away from her. Right. They want to control Bella and make sure that she does what they want. Until this point right here, I've been pretty solidly team Jacob. I'm team nobody now. <laughs> Bella should move to a convent. <laughs> That's it. Oh, I love it. Oh, she did. She saved him. She, she saves him. him. Oh, hooray. I was so worried. His pained face pains me, and not in the way it's meant to. It's the only, uh, it's the only thing he ever does. What do you say? <laughs> I'm not an old man, am I? I'm watching this movie going, what? Huh? But it is their delivery. I lied. I had to lie. You believe me so easily. I want to point out something. As a relationship expert, I don't say this braggingly. Some people, a mechanic is an expert on a car, right? Yeah, they're good at that. He says, I lied. I had to lie. And her response to that horrible declaration is to sidestep it entirely and not even acknowledge it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I didn't, even, I didn't even think of that. It wasn't even an apology. No. It, it was, I lied, and it was okay that I lied. Because I had to. Because you forced me to by falling in love with me, and you idiot. And her response idiot. is to look at his navel and then look back up in his eyes and be like, pretty. <laughs> <laughs> this oh is not how gosh. this is supposed to go. No. And she, she should have said, look, if you're going to be with me, you're going to have to take ownership and make some changes. Listen, if we were going to write a list of all the things Bella fair. should have done. That's fair. <laughs> we are shooting all over her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that shouldn't have been so funny. I'm real punchy. This has been a long movie. Let's go. Because it doesn't make sense for you to love me. You're right. It does not. It doesn't make sense for you to love me. I'm nothing human. I'm nothing. Nothing. Yes, you have just accurately summarized a four book and five film franchise. You're everything. Oh. But why? Yeah, why? It doesn't make sense for you to love her. I mean, it makes sense to love Kristen Stewart. She's lovely. Sure, she's and lovely, and I'm sure a nice person. Pretty cool person, but like Bella? Oh, wow. Let's cut to the same angle three oh. times of the same sort of kissing-ish. Kind of half biting? I don't know what that is. Ugh. Please! No! No, please! Please! What the heck was that? Yep, performance! Was. Kill me, kill me. What just happened? This is the only reason I included that. What was that? What are those? <sighs> like she, she's caressing her stomach while rubbing her hair. Like contorting and doing this while shrieking like a banshee. That was not the take you use in the edit. That is my... <laughs> she did some smaller ones. I can't imagine that she did a bigger one. <laughs> And, okay, yeah. Yeah, let's just... Uh, I was gonna say, what's going on with the plot, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The Volturi are gonna kill him because... Because he was gonna expose himself. Because and reasons or it. whatever, yeah. blah. And not even, like, the exciting expose himself. Expose the vampires. No, he's just gonna sparkle. He's just gonna go sparkle. Like... Not him! Who cares? Okay. I will say, as much as I hate these movies, Michael Sheen... Uh-huh is so much fun to watch, and he is obviously just loving doing this. You would give up your He's like, this is a paycheck movie, but instead of phoning it in, I'm gonna go really far the other way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, yeah. Instead of like dialing it down to two, I'm gonna crank it up to 18. <laughs> this is what happens when you have a very talented, accomplished actor 
who he's saying, oh, okay, no. so what's my note here? What's my motivation? And they're like, we don't know. He's like, okay, story. so nothing matters? All right, cool. nothing matters. Awesome. DGAF, let's go. <laughs> Our heroine walking away from hundreds of people being brutally murdered and not caring because <gasps> a boy. No, she cares. Like, but she's you know she's powerless to do something about. It. I actually really liked that moment of darkness. Like that was where they bring the tourists in and then they all start screaming. Yeah, that was actually a kind of almost an effective bit of filmmaking. But it's undercut by this. I'll still be here when you wake up. I heard that. It was something about. I'll Waking still up. be here when you wake up. Okay. The only reason I left was because I thought I was protecting you. He's exhaling all his lines. He is mouth breathing his way I through the script. You to have a chance at a normal, happy life. Technically, you have to exhale most of your lines. It's really hard to I talk know, in. It's easy for you to leave. That would have made the movie more fun, though, if he was inhaling Leaving all of his lines. Leaving you was the hardest thing I've done in a hundred years. And I've been trying to push out a crap for 87 of them. <laughs> and I still haven't passed the ACT. I swear. <laughs> I'll never. I've taken it so yeah. many times. I keep getting a 12. I'm so sorry. Hey. So okay. now he explains himself and now he apologizes. But again, he should have just at the beginning been straight with her because, yep. you know, respect and communication. Dad, you don't have to worry. Common human decency. Yeah, last time you said that, you took off. I didn't see you for three days. I'm really sorry, Dad. And you ended up in a hospital. No, no. that was that detail. You almost You're not died. Gonna do that to me again. Ever. This is not an unreasonable ask from a dad. Mm -hmm. For the rest of your life. Okay. <laughs> I actually like that exchange. You're grounded for the rest of your life. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Again, Charlie. Best character in the whole thing. I'm Team Mustache Dad. Not technically breaking any of his rules. He did say he couldn't take a step inside the door. He came in through the window. Man, teenage, like, rule lawyering is the funniest, <laughs> dumbest thing ever, especially coming from a 109 year old. But I'm here now. I'm not gonna leave her side. I'm actually rooting for those way. two. We'll see. It's electric. I mean, Bite your hey, lip, yeah. My turn to talk. The most sparks we've gotten romantically from this whole film series so far is that scene between those two men. I'm gonna remind you about a key point in the treaty. Bella, come. Everybody's just bossing her around. Look at his eyes. His eyes are up there, Bella. Eyes are up there. What are you thirsting after? I, I mean, we know, but I love you, really, really. So please. I love you, but I'm going to go with Edward now. Don't make me choose. Oh, so it's polygamy. It's uh, polyandry. Polyandry, polyandry yeah. yeah. Polyandry, technically. There's a spin. It's always been him. Hey, do you think if we write that fanfic, we can turn it into a Fifty Shades of Grey and make millions? I guarantee you we could, okay. but we would lose our souls in the process. Yeah, but millions. <laughs> oh, but souls. <laughs> but millions? <laughs> but souls. We'll talk about it. Bye, Jake. How did they manage to work six jokes in between lines of dialogue Whoa. in this stupid movie? Boom. Hey, hey! I gotta say, the wolf effects in this are actually not that bad. They get better, but even in this film, they're not terrible. That one in particular, that's Stop. pretty solid. You can't hurt each other without hurting me! Like, they care about that. I mean, ostensibly they do, but... They've been hurting you all along. Look, for the sake of the plot, right now... Oh, it's a sad wolf. How is she not laughing that he's running away as a dog? The tail between his legs. How are you feeling? Tired. I'm also very tired. Yeah. This... I was angrier this time than I was in the first one. The, the first, first time, one, I was just like giggling a lot. Like, yes, me too. I felt like... I now I'm just mad. <laughs> I'm just angry. Stop it. 
You're hurting Jacob. Well, if that's all, then you better go run back to Sam. And then he's hurting you, and Edward's hurting everyone, and it's just stop. Done it again. You're just all a bunch of dysfunctional teens. I'm, I'm mostly hurting for anybody who got swept up in this and idolized it and idealized it. Yeah, that's who I'm hurting for. Yeah. In a healthy relationship, honor each other's free will. Yeah. Honor each other's choices. Good. Love isn't control. That is the very opposite of love. No, I won't let you. Love is respect. Love is safety. Love is freedom. If you're not allowing for these things or providing these things in your relationship, it's not love. It's attraction. It's attachment. It's possession. It's possession, yeah. But it's not love. But what, what cannot happen is your whole identity be so wrapped in, up in somebody else that if that goes, then there's nothing left of you but a shell. Yeah. In the first film, that was my problem with Bella. Mm -hmm. In this film, it's my problem with all three of the members Leads. of the Holy Triangle, right? Mm -hmm. Jacob is so dependent on Bella. Edward is so dependent on Bella. Bella is so dependent on whoever's around. It's it's just, I'm I'm with you, man. I'm on Team Mustache Dad. He's the only healthy character yep. here. Baby, I, I don't want you to leave. You know, at the beginning of this episode, I talked about this is where cinema therapy strikes back. <laughs> right? And I feel like we tried and we got our butts kicked. We got our asses handed to us. <laughs> like New I, Moon beat us. I tried. I, I came into this going, oh man, we're going to take this movie down. And we did, but at what cost? Maybe our immortal souls if we write those books. Yeah, but you know. Millions. Yeah. So, <laughs> so if you want to watch this movie, don't. Don't. But you can. We've got a link down below. And uh, you can find us on our socials at at therapy underscore cinema on Instagram and Twitter. We're also on Facebook. Uh, if you're digging what we're doing here, please, please like, subscribe, tell your friends about us, help us to grow. So until next time. And watch, watch the movies. movies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh boy. Oh. <laughs>